Hello all you gorgeous YouTubers and thanks for joining me in another video. Now for those of you who watch a lot of my videos you will have seen that I recently uploaded a video on the dash cam that I fitted to the XF a few months ago um, and the footage and also the experience that I've had with the dash cam. Now the dash cam has been fairly reliable but there has been a couple of issues regarding the having to reformat the SD card when it gets full otherwise the dash cam goes into a limbo mode and starts chowing the battery. Now I don't know if they all do this maybe it's just mine that does it and maybe it just has an inherent defect I don't know but I was looking at purchasing another one just to see if they are actually the same but before I did that I found this uh, rear view mirror which actually fits the Jaguar XF and the XJ and the XK and apparently FPS and X-Type. Now they give two different brackets here and I think the big bracket is well, this one here is for the FPS and um, the newer models and maybe the XJ but I, I do know for a fact that this one here is the one fitted to the XF. So it doesn't matter whether you have rain sensing wipers, whether you have the um, radar cruise control, yours will definitely have this bracket fitted to it. So, and if you're unsure, just make sure before you order something like this, because it's a lot of money to spend. And looking at this price almost fell off my chair. But I think when you look at what you get, um, and let's have a look at this thing for a second here. You get navigation, reversing camera if you don't have one on your car. You can now hook one up to your rear view mirror. You have an, a built-in DVR and as you can see there behind the mirror it actually has the camera on the back of the mirror. don't want to fit an actual dash cam per se, you can then fit this. And this thing will also be hardwired into your car as the Jaguar OEM lookalike dash cam would be as well. It has an Android 5 system and which means you can actually download all the Android Android apps and you can do anything that your Android phone can do. It does video play, it's got Bluetooth, anti-glare mirror and plays MP3s but I think most interestingly it has navigation. Now you can actually if you like Google Maps and um, you can tether this thing to your cell phone and you can use Google Maps for example. Let's face it, our Jaguar XF's maps are already outdated. So navigation is quite um, important to me actually. Now you can see if we look at this picture here and I'm concentrating on this area here if you look at the left side of the picture here before it magnifies the picture. But it has an on-off button and it has two sensors on either side. So this means it obviously still has the anti-dazzle function. Um, and don't worry about your rain sensing wipers, they will still work. It's not part of your car's mirror, so you don't have to worry about that. The main thing is that the anti-dazzle works. How this thing would communicate through your car's sound system, I don't know. If you want to play music on it. It looks like it does have an FM transmitter built in. So. Um, that's interesting but I'll, I'll tell you this I've used FM transmitters before they're not good the quality of the sound is terrible um, it's just best to plug something into your auxiliary socket or into your USB socket if you have one and here you can see the back it has speakers built in there or those are the mics I'm not sure but it's a 5 inch Android capacitive touch screen now I don't really know if that's a good idea because touching your mirror is not something that you want to do all I know is that this thing is brand new, it's only come out on the market now. This is the only seller on AliExpress currently selling this thing and I've not seen it on AliExpress ever before and I've checked on eBay, it's not available there either. This is specifically for Jaguar XF, or for Jaguar, sorry. I think this is really worth looking at. Um, there again you can see the sensors, you know, anti glare blue mirror. It's five inches across there, so it's quite a big mirror. And I think one would have to check if this actually would fit in your car, you know, if attached to the bracket, because I don't know what the space clearance is between the top of the mirror and the roof. 
So that's something that one needs to take a very good look at. But at least they do give you the measurements here, you know, how long it is and how high it is. When I bought one of these um, mirrors for my Audi, it, it was just a dash cam mirror. Uh, the Audi has a little flap that comes down here above the mirror for to prevent the sun from glaring through just above the mirror. And that little flap wouldn't come down because the mirror was too big. So I would rather go for a minimum 8 gigabyte or a 16 gigabyte uh, hard drive. If any of you guys buy this before I do, I uh, would love to hear from you and maybe do a video on that for us as well so we can also check it out on YouTube. But I just thought I'd bring this to everyone's attention and I'd love to see your comments in the bottom. What do you think? Is this something you would consider putting in your XF? Um, you know, some of us are purists when it comes to our XFs or our Jags. We don't want to mess with the sound system. We don't want to mess with the standard things that were fitted in the car as options. But I definitely do think that this is worth a look and it's definitely something that could improve not just the value of the car but the experience in your car. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Pop your comments down in the comments below. And if you'd like to find out where to buy this, look in the description box below. The info will be there. Thanks for watching.